Speaking of DevOps, you may think of new features, automated tests, or bug fixes. All done with a swish of a magic wand. But what goes into DevOps is much larger than that. Imagine this car is your application. Like speed bumps that slow down your car, bottlenecks can slow down application deployment, resulting in dissatisfied end users. Developing applications the DevOps way means to take care of these bottlenecks efficiently so that you can deliver quality applications on time and keep your customers happy. So what does DevOps actually do? Reduce development overhead, make integration easier, promote collaboration between development and operation, and stabilize various environments. Let's take a deeper look at each of these. Developers often need to multitask, which may hamper their main job, which is coding. DevOps automates supplementary tasks so that developers can focus on coding instead of documentation and status updates. How does DevOps handle continuous integration? Multiple developers commit their codes to source control management, which then pushes the codes to the continuous integration server. In the CI server, the integrated build runs several automated tests to detect integration errors and reports back to the manager and developers. DevOps addresses a traditional silo. While development team focuses on additional features and faster releases, ops Y for stability and availability of infrastructure. DevOps resolves this fundamental operational difference that lies at the heart of application delivery. And finally, delivery pipeline typically involves multiple environments for development, staging, and production. Problems occur when codes are transferred from one environment to another. DevOps stabilizes code transfer between environments by automating repetitive processes. So, how does DevOps really help? To summarize, DevOps streamlines your production lifecycle, automates repeatable processes, generates quick feedback, reduces time for reworks and rollbacks, and speeds up deployment so that a new application or feature reaches your customers much faster. Despite knowing what DevOps is, many businesses find it a challenge to get started. Begin with decisions, practices, and workflow. Decisions you make before you venture into DevOps will lay the foundation to your end product or service. Do you need to build or buy tools? How frequently should you deploy? How many resources need to be allocated for your project? Do you need to use proprietary or open source programming language? DevOps is made up of several practices working in tandem with one another, like continuous integration and delivery, containerization, infrastructure as a code, and so on. Do you need just one or a combination of these practices? Various software processes such as Agile, Waterfall, Test Driven, and Git Flow affect the phases, activities, and pace of delivery pipeline. How to decide which one suits your needs? Where do we come in the picture? We can help you with planning, methodologies, infrastructure, server security, and 24-7 support. Have more questions for us? Get in touch with us at info at cubers.com. For more information, you may also visit www.cubers.com forward slash services forward slash DevOps. Thanks for watching.